The cyber attacks against the websites of news groups ABS-CBN News, Rappler, and Verifiles may have been initiated by the same groups. Sweden-based digital forensics nonprofit Kiro Media says the attacks bore the same distinctive signatures. The three news websites all experienced distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks during the second week of December. It can bring down a website by flooding it with an overwhelming amount of simulated traffic. First to be attacked was ABS-CBN News on December 11, then Rappler's website on December 15. Verifiles was hit the following day, December 16. The attacks appear to be part of a ramp-up activity. On Thursday, December 23, less than a week after the attacks against the three media groups, Rappler was once again subjected to another, more intense DDoS attack. The same day, ABS-CBN News website also went down. While the media giant did not confirm the reason for the outage, chatter in online hacker communities speculate it was also a DDoS attack. Curum identified the majority of the IP addresses as open proxies in the US, China, Germany, Indonesia, Russia, and Vietnam. Curum says patterns derived from a comparative analysis of attack logs indicate the ones behind the attack probably hired a black market service that used black hat SEO techniques. This is the first time that several major Philippine media outlets were attacked in succeeding days. The three media organizations are all known for critical reporting that has angered the Duterte administration.